Let's first begin with First Alert Meteorologist Jessica Bird. She is walking over now because she's been busy tracking that hurricane. <laughs> this hurricane's wild, yeah. Justin. It is impacting a lot of Floridians right now already. Rainfall pushing its way in the eye of that hurricane about to make landfall this morning. Let's take a look at the wind speeds, though. This is really what I'm focusing on for us this morning. Just to get an idea, 150 mile per hour wind gust. It takes 157 mile per hour wind gust to get up to a category five. So that's how strong this Florida or this hurricane is as it in pushes into Florida, giving them a lot of rainfall and a lot of storm surge too. To put this into perspective, they're getting about 16 inches of or rain just in Orlando. Here in San Francisco, our rainfall total for the whole year is usually around 25 inches. So this is a very strong storm that's just wiping through that state as we head into the afternoon. We are expecting high pressure to build in from the south for us today. That's going to really Really change the weather as we wrap up this week back here in the Bay Area. Daytime highs right now, well, they're just sitting around average, even a little bit cooler all the way along our coastline. And if you think about it this way, that onshore flow, that Pacific breeze that's pushing in, that's what's helping us stay nice and cool as we head into the afternoon hours. We'll see that all along our coastline, even up into the beginning of our East Inland Hills. But once we extend all the way off closer to the Sacramento Valley, that's where we're going to heat up a little bit more. High pressure will warm us up as we wrap up the week. We're seeing 70s and in the forecast as we head into Thursday and Friday. Notice how we go right back down to average as we wrap up this weekend and head into next week. It's a very similar trend also for our microclimates. For our friends all the way off in our inland East Bay and the North Bay too, we're heating up just a little bit more as we wrap up the week. Nothing too crazy by any means. It's just going to feel a little bit warmer and drier too. Once we head into the weekend, things get right back down to average. So if you want to head out to some trails, get some fresh air, this is the weekend to do it. We'll keep you updated here in the Weather Center, but for now, over to you, Jay.